Now to the outrage growing after the release, the unexpected release from prison of one of Elizabeth Smart's captors. Another kidnapping survivor, J.C. Dugard, is showing her support for Elizabeth in an exclusive statement to ABC News. And Diane Macedo has the latest on that. Good morning, Diane. George, good morning. They've shared an experience most of us could never even imagine. Elizabeth Smart kidnapped for nine months. J.C. Dugard kidnapped for 18 years. Well, now the two women are standing together against the release of one of Smart's captors and issuing a warning to the public. When Elizabeth Smart was kidnapped by Brian David Mitchell and his wife Wanda Barzi for nine months at the age of 14. It feels just like you're losing control of everything. You just feel like the world is coming to an end. The FBI was also frantically searching for another missing girl, J.C. Dugard. Dugard had been kidnapped on her way to the school bus in 1991 by Philip and Nancy Garrido. For 18 years, they held her against her will in this shed where she had two children by her captor. The mind manipulation plus the physical abuse I suffered in the beginning, there was no leaving. This morning, J.C. Dugard is speaking out, supporting Elizabeth Smart's outrage that one of her kidnappers, Wanda Barzi, is expected to be released tomorrow, five years earlier than expected, while her husband serves out his life sentence. Dugard tells ABC News in an exclusive statement, she believes the co-kidnappers are equally guilty, saying, I feel deeply for what Elizabeth is going through, knowing this dangerous person is free to walk the street. Believe Elizabeth when she says this woman is a threat to society. Barzi and her husband abducted then 14-year-old Smart from her bedroom in Salt Lake City, Utah, holding her captive and sexually assaulting her. At one time, Barzi was expected to be behind bars until January 2024, but a new ruling by the state of Utah found she was entitled to credit for the years she spent in federal custody. Smart railed against her release Thursday, asking the board to reconsider. Do I believe that she is dangerous? Yes, but not just to me. I believe that she is a danger and a threat to any vulnerable person in our community, which is why our community should be worried. But the Utah Board of Pardons says Barzi cannot legally be held any longer, adding in a statement, this is not an early release. Ms. Barzi will have spent 15 years in custody, which is the maximum amount of time allowed by her state conviction and sentence. And Barzi is set to be released tomorrow from the Utah State Prison. She will need to register as a sex offender, and one condition of her probation is she can make no direct or indirect contact with Elizabeth Smart. Okay, Dan, thanks very much. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.